Hello friends, myself Mohammed Mohsen Mushir and today I am going to demonstrate to you laryngoscope. So before I dig into this topic, what is laryngoscope, what is it used for, I would like to introduce you to a small topic that is laryngoscopy. So what is laryngoscopy? As the name indicates, laryngoscopy is the endoscopy of larynx. We know that larynx is also called sound box. It has vocal cords. So laryngoscopy is the endoscopy of larynx. We use these devices to visualize the anatomy of larynx. Based on the methods, there are two types of laryng uh, laryngoscopies, direct laryngoscopies and indirect laryngoscopy. So in direct laryngoscopy, we are directly visualizing the anatomical area of interest. For example, in case of intubation, we are interested to visualize the glottic area of larynx. And in indirect laryngoscopy, we are not directly visualizing the parts of larynx, but we have some alternative methods to visualize the larynx. For example, fiber optic laryngoscope. Then we have video assisted laryngoscope. So now I am going to demonstrate to you laryngoscope. So right here in front of me is the laryngoscope. This is a Macintosh type of laryngoscope because the blade as you can see is the Macintosh blade. It is the curved blade and there is a second category of laryngoscope where the blade is straight. It is called Miller's blade. Okay. So now I am going to demonstrate the parts of laryngoscope. Okay. This is the handle of laryngoscope. Inside the handle of laryngoscope, we have lithium battery as you can see from here. This is the lithium battery inside which acts as the power source. And this is the handle of laryngoscope. And just above the handle, you can see the bar where the stock of this blade gets fixed. This right here is the blade of laryngoscope. As you can see, this is the curved blade. So we call this Macintosh blade. And it also has several parts. This is the horizontal flange, right? This curved is called horizontal flange. And this is the tongue of the blade. This is the tip of the laryngoscope. And there is a stalk. This stalk fits in this bar of laryngoscope. So these are the parts of laryngoscope. As you can see, there are, there is one lead which gets attached to this lead of bar, which evokes this light. This is the light source. So these were the parts of laryngoscope. So now I am going to show you how to assemble laryngoscope. So when you see laryngoscope in a tray, it will be something like this. It is not assembled. Okay. You have to assemble the laryngoscope. So how are you going to assemble the laryngoscope? First, you have to hold the handle in the right hand and hold the blade in the left hand. Now what I am going to do, I am going to put this stock near this bar of laryngoscope. Okay. While doing this, you can see the leads. One is present here, other is present here. So now, just like this. So as you can see, the leads are in position. So basically what happens that when I assemble the laryngoscope, this lead gets attached with this lead, which is connected to the battery, which is present in the handle, which acts as the power source. And when these two leads come into contact, the light source gets on. So now I'm going to put a thumb here and I'm going to give a gentle push upwards. And as you can see, this is on. So now your laryngoscope is ready to use. After assembling, you have used the laryngoscope. Now I am going to show you how to deassemble the laryngoscope. Okay. So as you can see, this is the correct position of laryngoscope. We use laryngoscope in left hand and this is the Macintosh blade. So we guide the ET tube in case of intubation. And let's say you did it and now you want to deassemble the laryngoscope. How are you going to deassemble the laryngoscope? Okay, so I'm going to 
hold it this way okay i am going to push uh, put my thumb here and i am just like while assembling i gently pulled it upwards now i am going to do the exact opposite i will gently push it down okay this is how you deassemble the laryngoscope and now you take this part off and that's how you deassemble the laryngoscope so now i am going to tell you the indications of laryngoscopy so what are the conditions when we are going to use laryngoscope so we all know like i said in the previous part of the videos that the laryngoscopy is the endoscopy of larynx which is a part of throat so any pathology related to throat the upper airways we are going to use laryngoscope like dysphonia where the patient is unable to speak he is speaking but he is facing some problem the voices are irregular there could be pathology related to the vocal cords second indication is the hoarseness of voice strider which is most prominent in upper airway obstruction foreign body obstruction we can use laryngoscope to visualize the foreign body if it is present there and dysphonia dysphagia like dysphonia we are using laryngoscope to visualize whether the patient has some pathology related to vocal cords which is making him unable to speak properly likewise there is a condition called dysphagia where there is difficulty in swallowing there could be some problem related to his airways why is he having difficulty in deglutition so now with indications there are some contraindications as well where we are not supposed to use laryngoscope what are those contraindications for example a patient presented to you with a trauma to his face face in the sense trauma in mandible region the maxillary region you are not going to use laryngoscope in those patients and let's say the patient is unable to tolerate foreign body it could elicit very lethal reactions which can cause spasm and edema of the region now some complications of laryngoscopy what are the complications of laryngoscopy so the common complication of laryngoscopy since we are inserting this laryngoscope in a person's mouth so there is a risk of tooth injury injury to submucosa and the epithelium of the oral cavity patient could have coagulopathies yes and all that so now i am going to demonstrate to you how to take care of the sterility of laryngoscope so laryngoscopy is an invasive procedure the parts of the laryngoscope goes to the tissues of patient so there is a very high risk of spreading infection if we do not take care of the sterility of laryngoscope it should be taken into consideration so for that laryngoscope is kept in high level disinfectant one such example is glutaraldehyde also called sadex solution the 2% glutaraldehyde or sadex solution is a high level disinfectant and the laryngoscope is kept for at least 8 to 10 hours so now i am going to mention some general points related to laryngoscope like i said earlier laryngoscope has two types of blade one is the curved blade which is this one as you can see the blade is curved and not straight this is curved and there is one more laryngoscope where the blade is straight instead of curved this curved blade is called macintosh blade and the straight blade 
the second category is called miller's blade coming to the sizes so larengo scope has various sizes there are some scopes actually the blade sizes varies depending on the type of patient for infants we use zero size macintosh blade as you can see here it is written that it is mac 3 this is the third size of the macintosh blade and similar to macintosh blade there is miller blade which also comes in varied sizes thank you everyone for watching this video this was all about laryngoscope jaise humne yahan pe laryngoscope ko explain kiya हमारी प्रीवियस वीडियो में टाइप्स ऑफ एंडोस्कोपीज हैं अगर आप इंटरेस्टेड हैं तो लिंक एंड सब डिस्क्रिप्शन आर देर आप देख सकते हैं सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम